My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Got another classic hot rod right here, a 34 three-window chopped coupe. It's got air conditioning, cruise control, overdrive, all the good stuff. Power steering, power brakes. This is a car you can get in and drive. It does have just under 5,000 miles since it was built, and it's still in excellent condition. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can find all the specs, pictures top to bottom, and the price. Not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars all for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, why don't you join me? Let's go for a spin in a 34 hot rod. It's a B and B uh, fiberglass body and chassis. Uh, underneath, it's a square tube frame rails with a lot of uh, round tubular supports. The whole chassis was powder coated black. Up front, it's an independent suspension with uh, tubular control arms and Carrera coilover adjustable gas shocks. I think they're polished too. Also has a rack and pinion steering up front. In back, it's a four link system with tubular control arms and again, uh, coilover Carrera uh, shocks, gas shocks in the back. Bottom of the motor is clean. I think it has a chrome oil pan. Uh, all the pictures are on our website, even of the underside. Uh, it has a, a high torque starter. It has a 700 R4 overdrive automatic trans with a remote uh, oil cooler, uh, an aluminum thinned oil cooler. Uh, new drive shaft has a Ford rear end in the back with 355 gears. Got a nice dual exhaust system, which you'll hear at the end of this video. I'll start it up. It has Flowmaster mufflers and some nice chrome tips. Uh, it's disc brakes at all four wheels, and all that was new at the time of the build. Uh, it has emergency brake cable system. All that's hooked up. So it's really well built, uh, tidy underneath. Everything's run properly. All the clips and clamps and everything is good. It's also power brakes. The power booster is mounted under the car. That all still looks new. It's a black cherry color. Uh, it's full fendered, obviously. Uh, it's got nice grill. It's got chrome headlights. The chrome on this headlight's kind of tarnished. Maybe, maybe it was cheap reproduction, but this headlight here could use replacing. Uh, it has some billet trim on the side of the hood. It is a full three-piece hood, which will open in a minute. The body's in real nice shape. It's a B&B &B body. Everything fits nice. The gaps are nice. There's a couple scratches on the running board. Someone must have stepped on it with a rock in their shoe or something like that. It's got power windows. The doors open by remote. There's suicide doors. I don't know uh, where the button is offhand, but there's a button on the dash there. But obviously, there's got to be a way to get in from outside. Uh, some really nice polished torque thrust wheels. Uh, fatter and taller in back is it that hot rod stance. Teardrop tail lights, recessed license plate. Uh, you have the fuel filler outside the trunk, which I like better than inside the trunk. This side's all real nice. A couple light scratches on the running board again. All new glass, all new gaskets. So it has a real nice interior. I sat in there. The seats are real comfy, very roomy. It's positioned nice. The pedal, the steering wheel, all that's in, in you know good. Good location. Looks like it has power seat controls. It's a chrome tilt column with a walnut wheel, uh, cruise control, vintage heat and air and defrosters. It does have an infinity stereo, full set of matching gauges. It's a power lift trunk, power windows I probably mentioned. And we'll see if I can open the hood here. No problem. It's a 350 motor, completely rebuilt. It's got aluminum heads. All the specs are listed on the website, but it's an Edelbrock intake and carburetor, HEI ignition system. Looks like an aluminum radiator, 
aluminum water pump, big electric fan, a stainless steel radiator hose. Uh, it's got a modern chrome uh, alternator. When we open the trunk as it swings around there. There's also remote battery terminals under the back of the car. Because the battery's in the trunk, obviously if it's dead, you can't open it. So there's jumper terminals. And I'm assuming the battery's behind this panel right here. So it's carpeted, it looks nice. Uh, getting back to the motor, it's got some nice, uh, the billet cut brackets uh, holding everything up in front and the pulleys that all looks it looks like that march pulley system it's got some block hugger headers uh, it's got a polished uh, tube i guess that's the overflow tube way back there so why don't we fire it up it's got a nice center console cup holders we like our cup holders now you have room place to put the coffee real nice dash Yeah, it runs nice. You can tell it's got a cam. Gauges light up. It's got nice vintage air uh, controls. They're backlit. Seat belts. Motor itself is very quiet. A nice comfortable car a couple of comments were made from the guys in the shop one of them was how nice the doors close it's just a comfortable hot rod if you're into the cruising and you want to you know take this overnight somewhere on a trip this is ideal for that So the power seat doesn't seem to be working. I don't know if it's not hooked up or if it's something that needs to be fixed, but remind the salesman to ask if the seat was looked at and also ask the salesman if you buy the car how to get in from the outside. I didn't ask anyone before I ran in here to do the video. But there is a button on the dash that opens and there's also this deadbolt lock because suicide doors, it's nice to have that lock so they don't open while you're driving the car. That door does shut nice. So real nice example of a 34 Ford Hot Rod Coupe. I just gave you my impression of it. If you go to volocars.com, there's plenty of ways to contact the salesman. They will answer any specific questions or concerns you have. Uh, they will also make delivery and financing and the paperwork real easy for you. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon and you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.